I've been in the house all day bench watching movies, so I was watching Soul Food, and I got to the part where Cousin Faith was, you know, mm -mm, um, Terry husband. So it inspired me to get up here and tell my story about my Cousin Faith, because I know everybody got a Cousin Faith around, regardless if it's a friend, a sister, a cousin, a niece, or whoever. So I got a niece that's the same age as me. Oh, before I start telling my story too, with my last story time about Renna Center, y'all say that I'm long-winded. I got ADHD. I tell 10,000 oh, mini stories about to be in one here story. For a while. You have to tell certain details of a story so people can understand the story. Without the details, that's like a power, no feeling. So back to the story. I, I got a niece that's the same a age. A big girl would whatever. talk about food. So um, she understand the story. Without the details, that's like a power, no feeling. So back to the story. I got a niece that's the same age as me or whatever. So um, she was dating this guy at the time or whatever. He was a younger guy. He was younger than her, but together they had like four or five kids or whatever. His brother had ended up getting into some trouble. Somebody had came and boom, pew, pew, at the house or whatever. I can't remember if they moved out because they feared for their lives or if the landlord ended up putting them out. All I know is they had to move. So they were staying in hotels or whatever. With them staying in hotels, they kept applying for cribs, but they kept getting denied. So each night, their money is getting lower and lower. I was dating a guy who owned properties or whatever. So I ended up asking my friend or whatever, could he rent a place to them? My niece was like, can you please ask them? I asked him. At first, he was like, no, he didn't want to rent a place to them. He don't want to rent the family, all of that or whatever. So I let them stay at my house for a few nights because I was never really home for real. I was always staying at my man's house. But, you know, after a while go on, I'm going to come home. So I really needed them to find a place. Two nights with them being into the townhouse, her boyfriend ends up going to jail. When he go to jail, I think he was in jail for like two Oogie. weeks or whatever. He ends up um, getting a bond. Five kids. When he got out, she was already wanted. So she ended up going to jail like literally right after he got out. She sat in jail for probably like. I think like six to eight months, something like that. The whole time she was in jail, he had women in and out of the house, in and out of the house. One day somebody calls me or whatever. This is how I end up finding out. Somebody ended up called me and was like, go look at such such live on Facebook. So the girl was up there on live drinking a Capri Sun and eating fruit snacks in her bed. And she was like, yeah, I'm in this B bed, eating her kids fruit snacks, drinking their Capri Suns. Then the other girl got up there and was like, yeah, we just made us another baby in that bed. This is one of his previous baby mamas. He got her pregnant in the house. So, you know, my niece is in like jail, Joey. like, going through it. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's doing this to me. So, mind you, he had ended up getting sentenced to some time for when he had went to jail and got out on bond. He got sentenced to some time. But he explained to the judge that he was a full-time daddy and that my niece was in jail or whatever. So the judge was nice enough to tell him, like, look, you can, I'll, you know, once y'all figure out her time, we can figure out a time when you can come turn yourself in. So once she got sentenced, the judge set it up so that when she come home, he goes in. So when she got out, he had two weeks to turn himself in. So I'm telling my niece, like, yeah, you about a dog walking when he get out. You know, he did you dirty, da, 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 whatever. She ends up doing a cookout for him for going away. That's what I thought the cookout was for. So I end up going out there to the cookout or whatever, you know, to see him away. Hey, go do your two years in jail. And then it's her turn to have people in the crib. So he, um, somebody ends up calling me. like, yeah, I see you was at the wedding reception. I'm like, what wedding reception? They like, yeah, your niece had a wedding reception. I said, girl, that was a going away cookout. They said, no. That was their celebration because they went down there to the Justice of the Peace and got married. So I called her. I'm like, you married him? You married him? At first she was lying about it. Then she ended up admitting, yes, she did marry him, which I thought was the most stupidest thing ever. So I had kind of fell back from her a little bit. I really wasn't talking to her like that. On top of that, she needed to focus because now the person who pays the bills is going to jail and then you got a background so it's not just that easy for you to get out here and get the job get a job like that so now she got to try to figure out how she gonna pay the bills all right so boom so she much go down the, the line or whatever i don't talk to um my niece i wasn't talking to her because i felt some type of way about her getting married after the dude did all of that to her. so she ends up calling me one day you know like asking me 
um, why she hadn't heard from me, why I wasn't talking to her. I kept everything short, sweet, and simple. So her mom ends up um, moving down here, which is my sister. And she was living in Atlanta. She went to the store, came back home. Her boyfriend had died. That's neither here nor there. So anyways, <laughs> um, my sister was living back down here now. I ended up going out one night with my friend. She lived in a different city than me. So she came and picked me up. The plan was for me to stay the night in her house after the club. But once we went to the club, I didn't feel like staying the night. So I ended up calling my sister to see if she happened to be on that side because she hung in that city. So she was like, yeah, she would pick me up, give me a ride home. She come pick me up, I get in the car with her or whatever, and we talking to her and she telling her how, she telling me how my niece attitude had been real, real bad. So I was telling her like, yeah, cause my dude went around there yesterday to go fix her AC. And while I'm on the phone with him, her attitude was real nasty. And she was like, tuh, you ain't crazy. Put that shit together, sis. Girl, put what together? What are you talking about? She was like, you ain't stupid. I said, well, what you mean I ain't stupid? What? What's, I, I, was, I was stupid. I was totally oblivious because I didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. So she was like, listen, I don't got no stone facts or whatever. She was like, but I think they messing with each other. So I was like, why you think they messing with each other? So she just started like naming stuff. She was like, um, he had got her a car. Um, she said that the rent had went from one price. She said he was giving her care credit to get the kids some glasses. Um, he had gave her a gift card to go get some Victoria Secret. I was like, what? So I ended up calling him, asking him about it or whatever. Of course, he denied it. I ended up calling her, asking her about it. Of course, she denied it. She started downplaying her own mama. Da, 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 da. This is how I found out for a fact that they were. And I wasn't just speculating. Two days after I found that out about them, that's when I ended up taking my trip up the road to prison. I went to jail, though. You know, of course, it took time before I got sentenced to prison or whatever. But what I had ended up um, getting locked up or whatever. And um, while I was in jail, he still never admitted it. But I really wasn't talking to him like that because I knew it wasn't a lie. She ends up being wanted for a murder or a conspiracy to a murder. This is how everything was solid that they was dealing with each other. Someone had ended up getting murdered in her house. And when they went on a look, when they went on a hunt to go look for her, they ended up kicking in his house because he was the landlord of the house. And I guess they had got word that him and her was, I don't know. All I know is, is that they found her at his house, butt ball naked. A lot of people in the comments kept asking me to get up here and to do a part three of um, the story about my niece, but it's really not much to part three besides he ended up admitting it. I asked him like, how did y'all even get to that point? He told me he went around her house one day to go fix something and she was like, you look stressed out, like you need your sup. So, that's how they ended up starring whatever they had. And he really honestly was just a man that just won't bout nothing. While I was away, he actually ended up having a baby by one of his kid's mom's best friend. And her and this girl have been best friends forever. And his reasoning for having a baby by his baby mama's best friends was because and y'all about to really laugh at this because y'all kept asking, why does everybody end up going to jail? This the kicker. He ended up going to jail too. He had his stuff together or whatever, but he was a computer maniac. He knew how to, he knew how to get up there and, and make it do what he do. He made one of his baby mamas mad and they called the feds on him and told the feds everything that he had going on. So when he go to court, he ends up getting out on the, um, on the little, monitor thing or whatever he said that none of his baby mamas would come over there and come see him and he had needs and all of this and the the best friend ended up 
just coming over one day and they made a deal. She was the only one that paid him some attention. Another thing was he always talked about how when he was younger, all the girls would joke him and say he was ugly and he was dirty. And he used to say he couldn't wait to get older and get his money up. And he was going to go back and get it every beat that ever did him dirty. When I first met him, he told me he was 35. He used to do so much for me that I decided I was going to book him a flight to go to Vegas one day. And he sent me a picture of his ID. I found out he was 42. <laughs> so, yeah, he was a fraud. But I don't talk to him. I don't talk to her. Um... And about the whole everybody going back and forth to prison. Listen, everybody come from different walks of life. Um, I'm really transparent with my life. I don't mind sharing my stories or none of that because like the Renaissance story, for example, that Renaissance story can help an 18 year old girl out here to not make the same mistake that I did. This story with my niece and, and my ex dude uh, also helped somebody as well. Like, I don't care who in a bind. Don't put nobody on to your man. And as far as jail goes, listen, your life is what you make it. And your outcomes will depend on what you surround yourself around and the people that you surround yourself around. So if you surrounding yourself around people that's in and out of jail, you nine times out of 10, you going to jail. You surround yourself around people that's scheming and scamming, nine times out of 10, you gonna become a scammer. So, that's what I was surrounding myself around at the time. Everybody was scammers. Everybody was doing something that wasn't right. Everybody was in and out of jail. So guess where I was at? In and out of jail. I went to prison when I was 25. I got out when I was 29. I'm 31 now. I've been home for two years. I wouldn't dare go back there. Ain't no amount of money. None of that. It's worth the time that they took away from me. All of that in there. Somebody telling you when to eat, sleep. Using a bathroom behind them girls, they coochie stinking, like being on a bus, going in transit, on a plane in handcuffs. Like nobody could never oh, pay me to go to back the there fighting over the telephone. Like never. What to do everyday people, man. It's your boy PJ today. We back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. And yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Woods, and Tears Keys to Lit. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all check out HiveMindLabs.com, okay? Unbig that back, okay? Or you could just go to prison and lose some weight like she did. Eee. Anyway, what it do, everyday people, man? So <laughs> it's, we got. To, I don't know where to start. We gotta go back to part one. Talk about how you know the boyfriend he was going to jail, and the, the baby mama she went to jail, and she got out, and he had to go back in. I don't even know when the boyfriend or her boyfriend actually started messing with the girl, cause I was like, I was. And then the mama, the mama to the sister saying, you don't know what's going on? Oh. <laughs> but the mama, the mama boyfriend, she went to the store and she come back, her boyfriend dead. Oh. I, I thought that's the biggest shocker of the, the story, right? Nope. Nope. The next biggest shocker, she said, you know what? And all that, that happened. And then I ended up in jail. I'm like, what the fuck did you do? What, wait, where'd you go, girl? The dysfunction just runs rampant through this family. But anyway, when she talks about her baby daddy having a baby by uh, his baby mama's best friend, it made me think about old Destiny in my one of my previous videos. <laughs> Sister, what's she? <laughs> did he? Did his baby mama go to the? to the baby shower and steal all the gifts? That's the question we need to ask. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the comment section, why y'all go to jail? Why y'all go to jail? No, how did her mama's, her, how did her sister's boyfriend die in the house and she just left state? <laughs> I ain't leaving. No drinks around these. Mm -mm. They got these new things you can put over the your uh, drink when you're in the club and put your straw through it. Yep. No more real face. Okay. <laughs> they should call them floors because every time you take them, you end up on the floor. Anyway. That, uh, you know, here's the thing. I see why he didn't want to rent out to the family. 
because when you rent out to family, you know, family issues come up. And then if she would have stiffed him on the, the if the family would have stiffed him on the money, then that messes up their relationship. Okay, because he not related to him. And then, you know, it'll cause some strife between them and they whole family and be like, oh, you need to pay him. Because if she would have married him, if he was a stand-up guy. But come to find out, he only didn't want to rent out to them because he he didn't want the man living in the house. He wanted a single woman house. So when he went over there and, she, you know, to fix that sink, she saw a plumber and she needed her pipes clean. Throat pipes. <laughs> I'ma just say she she cleaned them well because he was tapping that. Okay, this is a crazy story. It had about eight parts. This is going to be the next Tubi movie. It had so many moving parts, you just didn't know what was going to happen next. It's so crazy that this story, you I don't believe it. I I, mean, I believe the jail part. Oh, maybe. It's, it's too wild to believe. Small town. She sounds like she's from Louisiana. If not Louisiana, somewhere Mississippi, down south. She there. She in that pocket. Baton Rouge. She sounds a little Baton Rouge. Not New Orleans. Baton Rouge. But yeah. Crazy story, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, she did right. She did right. Left the man alone. Knew he was a dirtbag. I mean, when you went to jail, you knew it was over. When you went to jail, you knew it was over. If he was sleeping with your cousin while he was free, when you went to jail, wash your hands with that. Anyway, everyday people, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>